Hello fellow water snobs, or maybe you're not a water snob yet, but you will be once you've watched a lot more of my videos. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the top four things that I like to visually um, show people and get them to experience who come around to my house who want to be able to understand why I've invested thousands of dollars in this big machine that sits on my kitchen table here or on my sink. Um, this is what's called a Level Up K8 water ionizer. An ionizer is like the, the, Royals, the Rolls Royce of machines that can basically make your your water the best of the best. It's it's a filter, it has a filter in there as well, but it's an ionizer. It's a completely different thing to just getting a filter. Now, there's four key things that I like to show people when they, they come around and experience this. I want people to be able to smell and taste four different types of waters. I want them to be able to visually see the amount of molecular hydrogen in what we call Kungan water, um, which is just the, the company's name for the fancier scientific name of what's called electrolyzed reduced water. If you were to look that up in PubMed and scientific, um, uh, what's it called, scientific uh, websites and publications, you'll see tons of amazing research being done in this field. Uh, I then want people to be able to uh, see visually see what's called an olive oil test, putting fat in four different types of waters to see why different um, pH levels can have an effect on things like fat, especially when it comes to cleaning things around the house and removing makeup off your face and sweat and hyper things like that. And then the last one is I'm gonna use um, some ethanol to be able to drop into the, into the waters to be able to show you the difference in the pH levels. The higher the pH essentially, the higher they are the alkalinity, um, the better it can certainly be for your body as opposed to drinking things that are quite acidic. So let's get started. The first thing I want people to do is to be able to taste and smell the four different types of water. So we're going to basically get some water happening here. First up, that's just chlorinated tap water. Now most of us have been drinking and bathing in chlorinated tap water all our life. So we, we know the smell of it. And you've been swimming in a pool before that's chlorinated, you know the smell. Put that one there. Now I'm going to bring out a few other waters. So the next one, water I'm going to use or put into the glass here is 9.5 pH. This is one of the three types of Kungan waters that you can drink. The next one I'm going to put is going to be, I'm gonna push another button here now, it says 2.5, and it's going to split the water in two so that the top water coming out is going to be 11.5 pH, so higher than the last one that I just put out. And then also, the last one is going to be 2.5, which is highly acidic. Really good at killing bacteria. Okay. So the next thing I want people to be able to see is to visually see the molecular hydrogen in the water. You'll see it pop up on the screen here now and you can see the difference between 9.5 pH water and tap water. So all those little bubbly looking things is indicative of molecular hydrogen in the water. And we'll be able to actually quantify that there now as well with this little device. Let's turn off the, uh, the noisy machine. Sometimes it does make a few sounds. You can turn that off as well. But I have this other little device here um, that measures molecular hydrogen. And when you turn it on, it measures pH. And it measures what's called ORP, oxidation, oxidation, oxidative reduction potential, um, uh, H2 hydrogen, and it also um, uh, measures the temperature. All four of those things are needed for this to be able to work correctly from what I've been, uh, what I've been told and what I've learned. So if I was to then go through, you could see before the actual visual difference between the, the molecular hydrogen and the water, but then you can go through and put this into the water. So this is tap water and we shouldn't expect any change. So it's basically saying here, it's at zero parts per million of hydrogen in the water. Sure, water is made of H2O, hydrogen, two parts hydrogen to uh, one part oxygen. But with this machine and the process of electrolysis, it's creating water that adds small um, parts of molecular hydrogen to the water. And as you can see here, the number's gone straight up. Anything from 0.5 up to 2.0 from my research indicates that it's pretty damn good water with a lot of molecular hydrogen. So that's 9.5. This is now 11.5, so the number should be higher. So the higher the pH of the water with these machines, the higher the molecular hydrogen levels. And then with a 2.5, it should be at zero. This is not Kungan water, this is not drinkable water. You use this for a completely different purpose. So once I've gone through and done that, I want people to go through and actually 
smell and taste each of the waters. Now, most people know what tap water smells and, and, and looks, and sorry, um, smells like and tastes like. The next one then is 9.5 pH, and when you go to drink this, you'll notice it is bloody smooth. It is really, really good. It's, uh, it's awesome. 9.5 though, smells like and tastes like soap. A lot of cleaners around the house have a pH of between 10 and 12. This is 11.5, and it really does taste and smell like soap. This one here though, smells more sort of like chlorine. It's, it's very pungent, and you don't want to taste this. It, it, it's, it's disgusting. This is the stuff that's really strong. Technically, it's also called hypochlorous acid if you were to look it up online, or if you were to go to my website, our team website, kungancartel.com. There's a science section in there and you'd be able to learn all about how radical this stuff is and how it's been used in hospitals by surgeons for a bloody long time. In fact, this company, Imagic, were only available in hospitals for the first 20 years of their existence in Japan. So, but then they went, uh, they went public. So, um, so we've gone through and done that. The next thing that I want people to be able to go through and do is to see here an olive oil test. So I'm just gonna get some olive oil and we're gonna pour some fat into each one of these waters. So what I'm wanting to show here is basically what happens to oil when it goes into different types of water. This here is the tap water. See how the fat all just basically sticks together into one big molecule. If you're trying to clean fat off your body in the form of makeup or sweat, or you're trying to clean fat, say, off your stove top after a really messy dinner, that sort of water is not going to do that much. Now we're looking here at, at waters with a higher pH. That's 9.5 and that's 11.5. The higher the pH, the more of a fat emulsifier it is. It just breaks the fat down into, into nothing. It's, it's pretty awesome. So it's less or so with the 9.5. And then you'll see with the 2.5, it hasn't all stuck together into one, but it's, not, it's nowhere near what these two waters do here. It's pretty fascinating stuff. So think of the varieties of ways that 11.5 could be used to be able to actually extract oil out of different things around the house to clean. And also, like I said, with your body. So my, my wife and my daughter actually take their makeup off now with 11.5 pH water. But then they use another water called 6.0 that we're not really talking about today, but they use that to replace skin cream. Look more into that on my website and you'll be able to understand why as well. The last thing though that I get people to do now or to show them is a pH chart. Now I think a lot of people are pretty aware that essentially if you are eating and drinking things that have a higher alkalinity to them, um, it's healthier for you because a lot of science, there's, there is debate on both sides, but at the same time, if um, disease essentially has a very hard time in being able to survive and thrive in an alkaline environment. So when we're looking here at the pH levels, anything that is closer to a purple color is going to be more alkaline. Orange, um, you're looking at things that are more acidic and right in the middle there, 7.0, where it's neutral, that's more of a turquoisey sort of color. So we're gonna use this here. This is ethanol. This comes with any machine that you purchase with the Magic because every month um, it's encouraged that you actually do what's called an e-clean. There are three different ways to clean this machine so that the, the actual components on the inside are in tip-top condition the whole time. This is another huge point of difference in comparison to all of the cheap, cheap machines and all of those molecular hydrogen bottles that do not have the ability to do this, to be able to remove a lot of the buildup of and calcification that can, that can build up on the actual titanium plates that are in the machine that are used to be able to create what's called an electrolysis process that then does all of the magic to the water. So if we use this ethanol here now and we pour it into the waters, you will see there's going to be a few changes in colors. Now the oil is in there, so if you wanted to be a little bit more technical and do it without, then you could. But I'm just gonna show you here though now that this one here, even with the oil mixed into it, that is the tap water, and that's a turquoisey turquoise sort of blue color. So it's neutral, it's 7.0. A lot of people always think that, well, it depends on where you live in the world, but a lot of people, I'm here in Australia and Queensland, our water is definitely neutral. It's not acidic, but it's not alkaline either. So it's just sort of, you know, middle of the run. This here is 9.5. As you can see, it's a lot more purple. Beautiful purple color. And then same thing here with 11.5, which will even be more purple when you mix it in as well. So they are very, 
alkaline or the technical in the technical word um, is that they're actually alkalized. They've gone through the process of electrolysis where electricity is basically put through the water to to make that change from with the pH as opposed to just say putting bicarb soda into the water and using a lot of additives that a lot of cheap bottles at the supermarket do to be able to make the water alkaline. And then the last one here, that's 2.5, a lot more orange. So all these waters have completely different um, functions. And there's, a, there's another video that I've made that says, my top 30 reasons to go come down. Like this, I've got a list of over 100 of, 100 of them on my door there, but there are 30 main ones that I've used over time and I'd highly recommend that you go check that video out on kungancartel.com. It's the very first video that you'll see on a page called Discover Kungan Water. So that is, they are the top four things that I show people um, to validate why this damn machine here is pretty damn amazing and why you definitely want to get your family investing in one of these to get the best quality water into this temple that you have. At the end of the day, our bodies are made of a pretty damn high percentage of water. So, and if you could reduce the amount of chemical usage that you have around the house, even if it's organic, organic or non-man-made chemicals that are as natural as possible, if you can do it with water and get the same results cleaning your barbecue, cleaning your shower, cleaning your kitchen, cleaning your body, it's uh, long term, it's, uh, to me, it's, it's worth the investment. So hope you've learned a lot from that there, guys. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Visit kungancartel.com today 